So today we're here being hosted by Iberdrola and we have Mr. Enrique Sola, the head of hydropower generation, to show us around their massive La Muela pump storage plant. IHA believes that plants like La Muela are essential to get us to net zero by 2050. In fact, the world has a looming crisis. There is not sufficient pumped storage being built to ensure that the massive investment in wind and solar can be firmed up for the world's needs in renewable energy in the future. Welcome to La Muela. We are here in the upper reservoir of our facility. I hope you enjoy the visit. Thank you. It's uh, really great to be here, and I understand this is one of the one of the largest pump storage plants in uh, in Europe. Yeah, that's it. It's one of the largest. We are talking about a station that has an installed capacity of 1,500 megawatts. So it's a huge battery. We call it Giga Battery because of the capacity to store energy. Why is it important to have a big battery like that to integrate? Uh, solar and wind in, into Spain's grid? Uh, as you know, these technologies cannot store its energy. They produce when they have the source, no? the wind or the sun, and they require a backup. And that's why we need this kind of facilities. And now on, you know, to store electricity, and the pump storage is the most efficient way and most efficient technology to do that. In this case, La Muela, what we have, you can see here the upper reservoir, can provide 16 hours of energy. And we are talking full load of the stations that during 16 hours can provide 1,500 megawatts. And what sort of cycling does this station do at the moment? Okay, it used to be a weekly cycle because the electric system used to be very predictable, but now with the integration and the, the, the participation in the system of all the new renewables, the cycle is changing. It depends on the wheels. Sometimes we have two or three cycles per week. So you're getting two or three cycles per week yeah. at the Moella now because of the amount of wind in the system. Itself. Yeah, uh, no, I believe in the future that will, will change uh, because, you know, there are more and more of uh, PV and, and also wind capacity is entering the system. Well, I think it's clear to the IHA that this is a message that governments around the world need to listen to uh, because these projects take a long time to build. How long would you take? to build a plant like uh, okay Muella. you know that's uh, one of the the key points about these facilities we require more or less you know depends on the project but around six years to build one of these plants but you have to add on the permitting process so if you add another four years we are talking about 10 years so the decision if you want to have this kind of facilities in the 30s the decision should be made right now now this is a really critical message isn't it if it takes 10 years to build these sorts of projects big giga batteries then for the 2030s they need to start thinking and making decisions now today to get these plants going what's holding it what's holding us up why why is it so hard to build these plants one important issue is the permitting and important you know civil works involved in that Another issue is the incomes, the revenues of the plant. Right now, the electrical markets uh, don't pay the services these plants are providing. So something should be done to pay the services that are going to be needed you know, in the future. Well, the IHA absolutely believes that without pump storage, uh, long duration pump storage, the world will have a crisis in the 2030s because there will not be enough firming capability to support wind and solar unless we start building more of these sorts of plants in many parts of the globe. Well, I think uh, Ibadra is to be congratulated for having such a wonderful facility that's going to stand the test of time for the 21st century to help integrate solar and wind into the grid. Pumped hydro is, is just what we need.